So Josh, what advantage do you think that you can have here at the Combine with your decision to throw over, say, Sam Donald, who is choosing not to throw? I don't know. I mean, I don't really you don't put much thought into it. It's not like an analytical decision on mm -hmm. getting a one-up in the draft. I mean, it's just it's football. So they ask us to throw, and I'm going to go out and do it. Now, public perception of your personality when you were at UCLA has not always been favorable. Why do you think that is? You know, I don't know. Um, I think uh, a lot of third parties and um, kind of a lot of stuff you got to go through with uh, media and whatnot, and sometimes things get lost in the mix a little bit, and that's why I'm here at the Combine, so that uh, teams can really get to know me. In what ways may you be misunderstood? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think uh, one of the biggest things that kind of um, that bothers me a little bit that I get to hear that my teammates don't like me and that um, I'm not really a football guy. And I just think that's nonsense. Um, I think you just got to ask, ask my teammates about me um, and they'll give you the God's honest truth. And speaking of that, we call that a segue in television. One of your teammates, uh, Scott Questenberry, said that you are once in a millennium quarterback. So what do you think of him supporting you and also Colton Miller? Um, Scott's an amazing guy. He's an awesome teammate. I mean, uh, we, we, uh, we're kind of we're on the field and we have each other's back at all times. We um, we're communicating back and forth. He's my center, I'm his quarterback. Uh, he's an unbelievable talent, and uh, I think he'll do really well. And Colton Miller, um, speaking of talent, he's an unbelievable talent. Um, he uh, is incredibly athletic, and uh, I think he'll be a really good professional. Always good to have your uh, guys that support you. Absolutely, it's great. All right, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. All right.